Greetings. We, are the Guardian. Welcome to Night Vision. What is the motivation, behind the freedom of the press? Our founding fathers considered the principle to be so paramount, that it is a part of our constitution, in the Bill of Rights. It is the foundation of the First Amendment. Freedom of speech is simply the freedom to speak your mind, and voice your opinion verbally, on any topic that you feel that you have something to contribute. Your opinion may be right, wrong, or indifferent, but you have the right to voice that opinion in any venue that you see fit. Freedom of the press, is simply the freedom of the people to voice their opinion, in print. Historically that meant printed on paper, but now that includes, printed online. The internet has greatly expanded the freedom of speech and the freedom of the press, because of its accessibility. Virtually anyone with access to the internet, can voice their opinion, on an unlimited variety of topics. Thomas Jefferson, the author of the Declaration of Independence once said, our liberty depends on the free press, and that cannot be limited, without being lost. Unquote. Jefferson knew the carnal heart of man. He was well aware of the government's tendency to want to control the citizenry. That's why he also said, I would rather have a free press, with no government, than a government, with no free press. He knew that greed was the foremost characteristic of a sensual human being. The lust for power, was the inner demon of many who would seek government office. And he knew that a free press, was the only thing that could keep the government in check. He insisted that no government should be without checks and balances, and freedom of the press, was the greatest weapon against tyranny. Government needed its own internal regulations to keep it in its place, but the press, was the voice of the people. It was the people's way of exposing deeds of darkness, by bringing them out into the light of public scrutiny. To regulate or hinder the freedom of the press, was to undermine the very foundation of liberty. Thomas Jefferson also addressed the issue of the accuracy of the press. He insisted that the press must be self-regulated, not government regulated. He said that the general public was intelligent enough to sift through the misinformation, and find the truth. He contended that an occasionally inaccurate free press, was better than a consistently inaccurate government regulated press. Having said that, the freedom of speech, and the freedom of the press, are under attack right now, like no other time in the history of our nation. Whittling away at our constitutional rights, is nothing new, but now the Biden administration has taken it to a whole new level. The government organized systematic shutdown of conservative voices on social media, was unprecedented. It was a full-on assault, of the First Amendment. It was a shock and awe attack, on the freedom of the press. Because of the politicization of most paper newspapers, the internet has now become the true voice of the people. So the government absolutely cannot be allowed to interfere with the freedom of speech, or the freedom of the press, online. But not only did the Biden administration orchestrate the censorship of their opponents, they sought to make it permanent and official, by establishing an Orwellian Ministry of Truth, known as the Disinformation Governance Board. But the internet annihilated the power grab, by exposing it as nothing more than a clandestine effort to control the narrative, and manipulate public opinion. But no sooner did we eliminate one attempt to violate the First Amendment, when Colorado Senator Michael Bennett, immediately introduced the Federal Digital Platform Commission, which was nothing more than a dystopian reincarnation of the Disinformation Governance Board. They claim, all they want to do is regulate misinformation. In reality, what they want to regulate, is you. Your freedom of speech. They want to regulate speech, because they want to regulate everything, in order to stay in power. Power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And make no mistake, they want absolute power. It is in their greedy nature to control and manipulate, and they seek to achieve their nefarious goals, through propaganda, outright lies, and the manipulation of the media. But we must ever be vigilant in the defense of our God-given liberties. The freedom of speech and the freedom of the press, is essential to our spiritual and emotional well-being. If we ever lose either of those liberties, 
all is lost. The American experiment will come to a screeching halt. The country that we used to call the United States, will cease to exist as a nation. If they take away our ability to express our deeply held beliefs, we will cease to exist, as a people. If they own your tongue, they own you. So that is why it is so critically important to defend those foundational freedoms. That is why it is so essential to speak out, whenever you see the government seeking to impede our most sacred liberties. Peace be unto you and your house. So do everything in your power, to expose the government's attempt to drag you into their tyrannical Orwellian suffocation machine. A liberty, is a terrible thing, to lose.